Well, well, well. Looks like we have somebody who is defending Ivory Rasmus. Who I think is secretly using his grooming story for clout as he has no proof to show whatsoever. And this guy named Matt, whose at name is Cillin69. He is the he is making a statement saying pyrocynical fans really defending groomer. Wow. Who would have thought dude once had a persona as a weirdo? And yet you are really defending Ivory by being on his side right away. Considering you're all clueless. Y'all never were never a member of that community back in 2017, like I was. So stop talking like you know shit in a replies. Everyone was young as fuck aside from a sweat few. Anyone with a shred of humanity would believe the victim considering how common predators were back then. But hey, you wouldn't know because you weren't fucking there, nor in any of the fan groups. I've literally spoken to the motherfucker countless times, yet y'all are so quick to try and invalidate the victim when you're clueless. Right, Matt? Because guess what? The victim that I, that I made videos on did not have proof. If you checked, very hard before making a stupid statement like this. <clears throat> Ivory did not have definitive proof to show. And the fact that you had to make a stupid statement like that, you are literally defending the victim before Pyro comes out. So in that way, your point is invalid. Because the victim that you're defending doesn't have any proof. He only showed an empty amount of proof that isn't highly shown. I mean, if you watch my current videos, which should come up, as I am talking con constantly now, Ivory is not the sm smartest tool in the shed, okay? And now, neither are you, since you are one of the majority that always believes a victim first before you come to the conclusion of believing of going on to someone else's, on going on to the uh, suspect side, if you want to call Pyrocin close suspect, which he's not, because he will eventually have a video about this in about a month, which I will be waiting for momentarily, but you. Uh, you have made the stupidest statements of all time. And I'm sure people are going to call you out on this. So many people's lives were ruined because fake rape accusations and similar. Most of the people in those scenarios also have the, men the mentality of belief. The victim, it's mostly that they think 
the first one to say something is at right. Also saying, believe the victim is highly flawed. If, it, if it's a victim, we must know that something wrong happened to them, so there's no point in believing in anything what you're trying to say. Believe the alleged victim for some reason. The very phrase, believe the victim is leading in this context, since we literally don't know if they are actually a victim or not. Same thing with your really defending groomer, wow. Like, we don't know if he's a groomer or, or not yet. You can't really base something off of that typical behavior from that community, knowing that these allegations could completely ruin his life. Blindly believing the victims in situations like this is one of the worst things we could possibly do. Anyone with a shred of IQ would not believe the victim. Exactly facts. You can simply take someone's word over a serious thing like this. That's incredibly biased and dangerous considering this could end an innocent guy's career. Exactly. Isn't until proven guilty. Taking people's word immediately is how witch hunt starts. Listen, first, stop swearing like a 15-year-old romance. Secondly, wait until Pirates and Go gives his point of view. You can't believe the victim straight away until you have heard both parties' contributions. And FIY, I was part of that community back in 2017. Nobody learned anything from the James Charles thing because they couldn't wait for a second sight of the argument. Jesus, Twitter can go for one day without accusing someone innocent. And since then, this dumbass never retracted his statement. Because he's highly, very, 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 very dumb. I mean, come on. You shouldn't even defend somebody who barely has any proof. Meanwhile, the person you're not going to defend is the one you're going to accuse of fake sexual assault or grooming, fake grooming assault, which I have proven in the last video I made about Ivory Masters, and now If you want to be on his side, you are more delusional than anyone else I have ever met in my life. As I see, you are one of those individuals that believe anything you see. Now, let's deconstruct why you shouldn't do that in this situation. First of all, there is no compelling evidence against him, everything that he presented. I could do in 30 minutes or less. And some um, expect element technique second of all, Pyro is not responding yet, and you haven't seen two sides of the story. Please postpone your battling for judgment until then. And swear these are the same people who jumped on James Charles, but then acted like they were on his side all along until he was proven innocent. Look, aside from what happened with James Charles over this summer and last summer, and I still think he's at fault for uh, like talking to a person that he doesn't know about, 
James Charles definitely should not have been should not have been involved in himself. But when you got this person who is probably hiding the truth. Then you know that it's very fishy. I mean, this person whose name is Thomas Gotchi, she's been hiding some of the replies that included a tweet from this, which I showed in the last video already. And, uh, you know. Now we are getting closer to a point where those who believe Ivory Rasmus, like Thomas Scotchy, <sighs> then you know something is up. Already, you know something's up already, and I knew something was up already when when she was hiding somebody who quote tweeted this tweet, which again I showed earlier on, trying to get his e fame more than anything. It's like in my eyes, it's not just like. It's not like, oh, I'm trying to get his e-fame. More than anything, it's like, they, they, they just see somebody that they really like. Okay. I, 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 I... Well, he, he implies because they are claiming to have evidence and the one I have asked so far has been able to name me one solid piece of evidence that trumps these Imager videos. You know, three to scroll through the list of conspiracy theories as so. Well, they aren't, because I read did lie, and you are protecting him by hiding these replies. That's what you're doing. And for lazy bastards who I won't know, won't read this post, here's what you missed. Images from a DM between I reading Pyro's girlfriend on Twitter. Yes, but then Ivory was the one who, uh, who accepted to go on Pyro first. Go on to Pyro first. I mean, come on. And I'm glad all the Ivory Rasmus uh, supporters defended him because. This will show how clueless they are when the person that everyone knows, which is Pyrocynical, probably did nothing wrong, and Ivory was just doing this for Cloud, and they, these two, or many more, wanted all the clocks themselves. And I hate that. Once Pyro does come out with a statement, I hope these supporters of Irene Rasmus can fuck off right now.